And the Philadelphia Inquirer says surveillance video was shown in court of a Penn State frat party before a pledge died. Timothy Piazza died in February after a hazing ritual at the Beta Theta Pi House. 18 fraternity brothers are waiting to find out if they will stand trial. Defense attorneys will cross-examine witnesses at a later date. DeMarco Morgan is in Belfonte, Pennsylvania. He was in the courtroom when the footage was shown publicly for the first time. DeMarco, good morning. Good morning, Nora. Prosecutors played about three hours of video, and the scenes that were captured by the fraternity's own surveillance cameras were chilling. They not only show Timothy Piazza in hours of agony, but what prosecutors would describe as his would-be brother's callousness to his suffering. What was supposed to be Timothy Piazza's first night in this fraternity house as a Beta Theta Pi brother ended up being his last. Twelve security cameras captured the Penn State sophomore slowly dying from his injuries to his head and spleen, sustained during a series of falls. Is it a bombshell? It's a bombshell, yeah. Prosecutor Stacy Parks Miller said an act of hazing left the 19-year-old with a blood alcohol content nearly four times the legal driving limit. The video shows a barbaric death. A, a, a young man who was struggling, who was sick, who was ill, who was in pain. Piazza fell down the basement stairs shortly before 11.30 p.m. Fraternity brothers found Piazza bruised and unconscious. Video shows him hitting him or pouring liquid on his face in an apparent effort to revive him. Others were seen propping Piazza up with a backpack or sitting on his legs. The video uh, speaks volumes. Uh, 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 in regard to my client's innocence. Attorney William Brennan represents Joseph Ems, whom the grand jury said struck Piazza in the abdomen while he was unconscious. The video I saw, fuzzy as it is, Joey may have reached down to, to arouse him, but he certainly didn't punch him. And it's but does clear. it concern you that Joey didn't call for help, didn't call well, police? he's not charged with that. It concerns me that no one called for help until 11 o'clock the next day. Piazza was largely left alone during the early morning hours. In the footage, he staggers, collapses, and slams his head. At times, he writhes on the floor in obvious distress. He apparently fell down the basement stairs a second time. And by the time Piazza was found hours later, a detective who watched the video said he looked like a corpse. Piazza's family left the courtroom before the videos were played. Tom Klein is the family's attorney. The videotape was simply stated too painful for the Piazzas to watch. They said that they just couldn't do it, at least not now. Now, prosecutors have obtained about 13 hours of security footage. The judge has yet to set a new hearing date, but the fraternity, which is also a defendant in the case, told CBS this morning it has confidence in the judicial system that due process and justice can and will be served. Back to you. The question that continues to haunt is why, why, and why. That's why it's so hard to hear the more details you hear because you keep learning that it really did not have to happen or go down this way. That's why it's so heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. Thanks for that report, DeMarco. Yeah.